Welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Monday, 30th October 2017. I'm Fredicia Libert. The winner, the first ever Miss Seniors Pageant 2017, scoring 521 points out of a possible 600. Contestant number two, Maretta Hobson out of St. John's. Hobson won all three judged appearances, which included the Let's Get Active Sportswear, Show Me What You Can Do Talent, and the Queen of the Century Evening Wear segments. She also captured the award for Miss Nevis Senior's Most Popular Contestant. On Valentine's Day, that man proposed to me. After waiting for so many years, he finally proposed to me. I wear wedding bells ago. <laughs> if I jump one more time, I'm going to touch the rope. No. Ah, you know me. I cut style at first. I cut style. Then I said, <laughs> yes, Vincent, I'll accept the ring. I'm going to be. A long time, me a coupon. Why you think? Why you think me going to Funny guy. Maisie. Ben up Edna. And what list got you? Get this ring after me down here 27 years. No, sir. Is it true that you want it? Then act like you mean it. With everyone watching, it's true. So there, can you feel it? Than the moon, brighter than the star. I love you just the way you are, and you are my African queen. Delegate number one from the parish of St. Paul's, Miss Dolores Richardson, was presented with the most energetic award. Delegate number three of St. Thomas's parish, Miss Catherine Tyson, was presented with the most jovial award. Delegate number four, Evan Rogers of St. George's parish, received the most enthusiastic award. And delegate number five of St. James received the most photogenic award. The pageant also consisted of icebreaker and introduction, items from the Sugar Hill String Band, hat parade by the seniors in the Nevis Seniors Division, renditions from the Golden Years Steel Orchestra, and other unique items. The patron for the evening's event was coordinator of the Seniors Division, Garcia Hendrickson. The Miss Nevis Seniors pageant formed part of the activities for International Month of Older Persons, hosted by the Ministry of Social Development's Seniors Division. The hosts for the evening's show held at the Nevis Cultural Complex were Eric Evelyn and Charmaine Howell. The Ministry of Health has reported that there are increasing cases of hand, foot and mouth disease, HFMD, in the Federation and is urging parents to exercise caution with their children. In a statement released on Thursday, 26th October, the Ministry noted that it has seen an increase in the number of cases over the last few weeks. The ministry's statement explained that hand, foot, and mouth disease is usually a mild illness caused by a germ called Coxsackie virus and that it commonly affects children under the age of five years. However, it can also affect older children and even adults. In an interview with Nadine Carty Keynes, coordinator at the Health Promotion Unit, Dr. Cleo Smithen Romani, pediatrician at the Alexandra Hospital, outlined the symptoms of the disease. The child may or not may or may not present a fever for over a period of one to two days. They may complain of sore throat, especially if they have the rashes 
in the mouth or on the tongue. Um, they might be a bit lethargic, all right? Lethargic and meaning? Weak, tired, okay, okay not the usual playful s self, okay? And you may see the rashes a day or two after these symptoms I just mentioned. You may see the rashes around the mouth, in the mouth, on the tongue, on the hands, the elbows, the knees, under the sole of the feet, yeah. okay? Um, the rashes can be flat, or they can be raised, or you can have blisters. The disease is contagious and it is spread by person-to-person -person contact with an infected person via nasal secretions, saliva, fluid from blisters on skin, stool, and respiratory droplets after a cough or sneeze. The ministry has recommended that people take the necessary precaution to reduce the risk of infection, including allowing all affected persons to remain at home and isolated until the fever, mouth sores, and blisters have resolved. The following is a notice from the Nevis Tourism Authority. A cordial invitation is extended to all taxi operators, artisans, gift shop operators, beach bar vendors, and other stakeholders of the cruise sector to attend a very important meeting to discuss the upcoming cruise season. The meeting will be convened on Tuesday, October 31st at the Nevis Red Cross building beginning at 7 p.m. Please make a special effort to attend. Still to come, ECCB will honor Sir K. Dwight Venner with $50 bank note. The details when we return. My name is Greg Phillip. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Nevis Tourism Authority. Nevis Mango and Food Festival has been around for four years and in our view it is one of the most unique festivals anywhere mainly because of what it does. You see it celebrates the mango. We have over 40 different varieties of mangoes on Nevis plus a very very rich and good culinary scene and we've put those two things together so once you dine at this Nevis Mango and Food Festival, believe me, you're dining on food that has never been created before because every single chef that cook at this festival have one excellent challenge. The challenge is everything you cook, every course of every meal must include mangoes from Nevis. Welcome back. The Concerned Citizens Movement CCM Party held its 2017 convention yesterday, Sunday, 29th October at the Nevis Performing Arts Center. At the convention, it was divided into two sections, the business session and then the rallying session. During the business session, two resolutions were tabled. And then in the rallying session, we witnessed the symbolic handing over of the party's leadership from the Honorable Vance Amory, who has headed that august body over the last 30 years, to the new leader, the Honorable Mark A.G. Brantley. Chairman of the CCM party, Hazel Brandy Williams, spoke about the afternoon's proceedings. Overall, the convention was a huge success. From the speeches that were made, by everybody, the guest speaker, Dwyer Astafan, from the tribute made to the Honorable Vance Amory, a statesman by Livingston Herbert, and all the other sub-speakers, especially the five candidates who will be vying for the next election, they were all on top of their games. And so all in all, the whole convention was a huge success. Chairman of this Concerned Citizens Movement, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, Monetary Council held its 89th meeting earlier this month and approved the $50 note as a circulation bank note on which the Honorable Sir K. Dwight Venner's image will be displayed as a permanent tribute to his legacy. 
The late Honorable Sir K. Dwight Venner, former governor of the ECCB, served the ECCB member countries and the wider Caribbean with distinction over a 26-year period. As a lasting tribute to his sterling contribution, the ECCB engaged the services of Delarue, the authorized printer of its circulation banknotes, to prepare design concepts for a new $50 note bearing the image of Sir Dwight, in addition to the standard security features of the existing banknotes. The $50 bank note is the second highest denomination of the EC currency in circulation, which makes it a fitting mark of respect to Sir Dwight. The process of final design approvals and production means that it will still be some time before the new note bearing Sir K. Dwight Venner's image comes into circulation. The ECCB will advise the general public when the process is completed and the new note is ready for circulation. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Leibert. Thank you for viewing. Known as Uwali, land of beautiful waters by its native inhabitants and later nicknamed Queen of the Caribbean by British settlers, Nevis has long relied on its natural prowess and resources to create livelihoods for its people. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve, and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. This one is dedicated.